Just a few hours ago, a Texas judge issued a temporary injunction. This now blocks the state from investigating gender affirming care of transgender children as child abuse. Our Alexis Wainwright shares a North Texas family's personal story with you about being under investigation and what that means for them and others like them across the state. There's a sense of hope for some people as this wider ranging injunction is granted. Tonight we're hearing more from a North Texas family who says they were being investigated by the state. A Texas judge has officially stopped the state of Texas from investigating parents of transgender children for gender affirming care. That's relief for the families that have been involved and a lot of folks who are following this case um, all across Texas, particularly the LGBTQI. A plus community and families with transgender children. Like the parents of this 14 year old who lives in North Texas, the Briggle family doesn't want to reveal his name. The stakes have never been this high or real for us. The Briggle family says the state started investigating them last week, but they came public about it Tuesday. Attorney General Ken Paxson issued a legal opinion which led to at least nine similar investigations across the state. Paxson is no stranger to the Briggles. In 2016, he had dinner with the entire family to talk about transgender issues. They know we're not child abusers. They know we're not child abusers. He sat at my table and broke bread with my family and then says that families like mine should not exist. It's a political stunt. Friday, shortly after the decision was made in court, Paxson tweeted, Quote, Democrat judge tries to halt legal and necessary investigations into those trying to abuse our kids through trans surgeries and prescription drugs. I'm appealing. I'll win this fight to protect our Texas children. Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News.